In this lesson, we're going to talk about zero, one matrices. So a zero, one matrix is essentially a matrix where all of the entries or values are either zero or one. So the identity matrix that we just talked about would be considered a zero, one matrix. Uh, zero, one matrices are based on Boolean operations. And notice here, we've got some things that we should be familiar with. So B1 and B2, and notice this is called the meet, and the meet of a zero, one matrix gives us a value of one if B1 is equal to B2 is equal to one. So if basically we're saying if both values are one or if both values are true, then it's true. And this makes perfect sense to us, hopefully, with our and operation that we had before. And if it's not true, then it's zero, so zero otherwise. The join would be B1 or B2. And again, this should make perfect sense to us because we're used to this or value where one or the other must be true. So this is saying if B1 is equal to one or B2 is equal to one, so if either one are true, it will return a value of one. Otherwise, we return a value of zero. So let's take a look at the meet and join of A and B. And first, let's look at the meet. And remember the meet is A and B. So again, I'm just looking at values that correspond to one another, just like when we did matrix addition. It's the same idea. And you can show a lot of work here or not. For this one, I'm going to show, um, I guess, a little more work than I normally would, just like I did when I added matrices. So the first one is saying A and B says one and one, and then zero and one, and then zero and zero, and then zero and zero, and then one and zero, and then zero and one. So again, you would not have to necessarily write this step, but then my final solution would be, remember because I'm looking at ands, I need it to be a one and one for it to be true. And so that means this is a one, but every other element is not a one. So this would be the meet of A and B. Now let's take a look at the join. Remember the join is A, or B, so this one's a little bit more forgiving. This is one, zero, 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 one, zero, and we're saying or one, one, zero, 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 one, 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 zero, 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 one. And again, I'm gonna show more work than I normally would. Normally I would just go straight to the final answer. But if I were joining these together, I would say one or one and then zero or one, and then zero or zero, and then zero or zero, one or zero, zero or one. So my final answer here, because we're dealing with or instead of and, is I just need one of the two values to be a one. So this would be a one, and this would be a one. This would be a zero because it was zero or zero. This would also be a zero because they're both false. This would be a one, and this would be a one. So that is the meet and join. The last operation I'd like to talk to you about with zero one matrices is Boolean products. And a Boolean product is essentially just like when we multiplied regular old matrices, except of course we're looking at both A and B being zero one matrices. So we're going to multiply A by B, and A is a three by two, and B is a two by three. So because these values match up, we know we can multiply, and we know that the answer is going to be a three by three matrix. So I'm gonna leave myself just a whole lot of room, which might seem like overkill, but I want to make sure we understand this because we're just gonna do one practice together. So essentially what we're saying is, in order to find this, I'm again going to take my one zero, and turn it into a column. So I'm going to think about it the same way, but instead of using multiplication and addition, I'm going to say one and one, 
which is what I would do before if I multiplied, or 0 and 0. So it's the exact same thing I did before, but instead of using plus or multiplication, uh, I'm using my meet and joins. So again, I'm going to take 1 and 1, or 0 and 1, and then I'm going to take 1 and 0, or 0 and 1. And I'm going to continue this for all of the other spaces. So again, I would take my 0, 1 and rewrite it and do the same thing. So 0 and 1, or 1 and 0, 0 and 1, or 1 and 1, and 0 and 0, or 1 and 1. And then I'm going to take this to be 1 and 0 and do the same. So that is 1 and 1, or 0 and 0. That is 1 and 1, or 0 and 1. And that is 1 and 0, or 0 and 1. Then from here, again, you can do a couple of different steps, or you can go straight to the answer, which I would prefer to do, but for the sake of just doing one example, we're going to do it together. So 1 and 1 gives me 1, and then 0 and 0 gives me 0, so I'm essentially saying 1 or 0. Again, 1 and 1 gives me 1, and then 0 and 1 gives me 0, and I've got an OR between. And so I can continue just like that to reduce or simplify what I have in the previous matrix. And I'll try to do this quickly. And essentially now we have an OR in between, and remember with an OR in between we're just saying, hey, one of those values has to be 1, otherwise it's a 0. So this would be 1, this would be 1, this would be 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. And again, these would be the 1's, because at least one of the values is a 1, and the rest would be 0's.